Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you my go-to look for a day slash night out and it basically consists of just red hues and oranges and a little bit of gold in the middle and just sparkles and glitter. This is also my first video, so welcome. I am so happy to be a part of the YouTube community and I would definitely be posting more of this. Just for a brief introduction, my name is Allison. I am basically the face behind a little blue blog. Oh, what is the little blue blog? It's basically just a lifestyle blog, fashion, social issues sometimes I talk about, food, travel, whatever you can think of, almost. Without further ado, let's just get to it. At this point, I've already done my fourth step. Basically, I have cleansed toned, moisturized, and applied SPF. And so my face is basically a clean canvas to apply makeup. So we're gonna start off with the Smashbox priming our face. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water. I purchased it from Sephora. You could also get it from Alta Beauty or I don't know, Macy's has it. That's all I remember. We're just gonna spritz. Before we spritz, I cover my mouth area with my hands. I have eczema around this area so anything foreign that's touch my lips except for Vaseline, I'll get an allergic reaction. Let it dry for a second. I feel like I'm really immature in doing makeup. The tip they had left on the box is to Keep it in the fridge before you use it so you'll get a cooling sensation out of it. And that's what I did. If you look at their website, it serves as a primer and also a setting spray. My next step is to apply foundation. So what I'm using here is my Revlon Color Stay in the shade Medium Beige. I'm gonna mix two colors, by the way, because of my skin tone. This other one is also the Revlon Color Stay Natural Tan. What I'm gonna do is apply on a sponge. A sponge I just got from Walmart. So, no big deal, I'm being a cheapo. You can tell that I use this pretty often because this is almost done. <gasps> oh, hell no. Nah. Mix them up together, like so. Start applying it. I'm sorry if my face gets too close to the camera. I'm not good at this. Right now, it's eyebrows. How exciting. This one that I use, it's actually from my home country, Malaysia. Silky Girl. I got it in Bear Classics. The brush that I use is from Eco Tools. Basically, I'm using this part of the brush. This is meant to be an eyeshadow palette, but I've been using this for both eyeshadow and brows just because why waste products buying an eyebrow kit when you could just use this? Swipe it, tap, apply. Because I have really sparse brows, I don't have to um, use brow gel or anything. Like, it'll stay in place pretty much. All I do is just I kind of use my fingers, smoothen them out a little bit, and just apply. Because I am a simple person. Brows on fleek. Brows are fleeky enough. Now it's the fun part. It's my eyeshadows. I'm gonna use the same Eco Tools brush, except it's the one that's opposite the one that I use for my brows. This is how it looks like. The eyeshadows I'll be using are all from this palette. It's my most trusty palette. It's been with me for the longest time, as you can tell. And the lid is obviously not with this anymore because that's how much it's been through with me. And um, this is an e.l.f. palette. It has 100 colors in it, but today we're only going to be using a few for obvious reasons. This color, this color right here. Dab, dab, dab. Tap. Apply. Dab, tap, apply, theory. Apply this on top of your lids. Don't touch anything onto your lids. The lids is reserved for the gold. Their size. My eye. A good makeup look is when you blend and balance. Wow, I'm so good at makeup theories. I'm gonna just apply it on the upper eye just to show you some magic later on. A redder color just for a little pop. This color right here. Dab, 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 tap, and apply. Both ends of my eyes. One here, another right here. Oh, 
would never thought of that, huh? It's a little different, huh? Yeah. Now you can see the little 3D pop. Same goes for the other eye. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna be using the same brush basically throughout the whole video for my eyes just because I like the colors to blend and at the same time it's also not like a huge contrast between colors. Next, we're going to apply this yellow. Oh, did I say cold? Whoops. This is how you get the pop of color. Basically, I'm gonna apply it on my lid. Look at that pop, bro. This is really pigmented. Look, this is just from one dab. Then, I'm gonna take the gold right here, oh, right here. Apply it on top of where we applied the yellow. Here we go, applying the gold. I had to apply it like slightly on top of my lid so that you could see the colors even when my eyes are open. So right there. Done. I'm gonna move on to concealer. Maybelline Nouveau Instant Age Rewind in Fair. <sighs> I'm gonna apply right here, right here, on the tip of my nose, well, the bridge of my nose, and my chin, right under my eye, two triangles on my face here, on my forehead too. Before I go back and blend, I'm gonna use the same color as what I used for my brows to add into the ends of my eyes using the same brush. I'm gonna go back into the back of my eye Usually I like to open my eyes and touch it at where my eye socket's at and that's where my point is. And so I'm gonna concentrate here to be the darkest color. Same goes here. And you pretty much have it. We're gonna blend this all in later so you don't have to worry, as I said. Now, we are going to use our sponge and blend them all. This is the trick and how to get um, a nice streamlined look. Blend it here, make sure it's a straight line and look at how it covers everything up. I'm sorry for the noise. I'm gonna move out soon and they're just showing the apartments to um, prospective renters. There you have it. Nice blended face. Next we're gonna do is to blend the eye. So now I'm using this brush. It's more of a rounded brush. It's also Eagle Tools, but it's a different brush than the brush that I used before. And just blend it all out. Simple. Just blend, blend, blend. In circular motions. Oh, people call this the blending brush. Bro, I'm slow sometimes. I just call everything a brush because they are technically brushes. Just don't give them names. Eh, I think I'm done. It's pretty much blended out. Remember how we used this first brush for our upper lids? Now we're gonna use it for our lower lids. I'm gonna clean this brush out. Second color right here and apply it to my lower lids. There you have it. We're done. No, we're not. <laughs> it's like, I am going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and at the same time, bring the gold out even more. So, I'm gonna use the six color tap tap. This is really pigmented. So, see? Just one tap. Perfect, beautiful middle. Look how much of a difference it makes. Blending brush, blend. Right there. Your face isn't done though. Next step would be eyeliner. So this is the Ramel London Exaggerate Waterproof, I love waterproof, eye definer. This is under Starlet Black. I've never used it before. I've used previous eyeliners of the same type, the same brands. It's usually noir or black is black or something like that, but like 
black, but this I think has a little glitter on it. I'm gonna wing it up for this one. Bam. Perfect. Other eye. I love a statement eye just because my allergies wouldn't let me apply any lipstick at all. So eyes are always my go-to. So for my lower lash, I am not gonna apply anything at all but this Ultra Liner by Maybelline. And it is also waterproof. I'm gonna just basically dip spots onto my bottom line. Kind of make it look like lashes. Other side. And now we're going on to contour. I am using the New York Color Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. Lost the lid. Use this all the time, as you could tell. So next we're gonna go on to blush. This is from The Body Shop. And it's in 03. It's really old, so I can't really see the label anymore. Swirl your brush around, your blush brush. Tap and apply. In some videos, I see that we apply highlighter and then translucent powder, setting powder, setting spray, and whatnot. But my way is that I apply the setting powder, the highlighter, and then the setting spray. Just because I love glitter, I don't like it too much. Not all over my face. So what I'm applying is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. You can get it at Sephora, Ulta Beauty. Tap a little bit. Just a little bit more. In here, brush. This brush is a powder brush. Swirl it around. Make sure you get an even layer. The highlighter I'm going to be using will be the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator Prime and Highlight in Rose. Taking a little bit on my ring finger, dabbing onto the highest points of my cheekbones. And just blend it out. Put it on the bridge of your nose too. Tip of your nose. Don't want to put too high up your bridge because it will just lengthen it and I just I don't want to lengthen my nose. I just wanna slim my nose down. Not elongate it. I don't wanna make my nose any longer. I love my nose just the way it is. What I like about this highlighter though is that if it isn't enough, you could always go back and pile it up. Bring it up. The rose gives you a bronzy look, which I like. Summer's coming. You want that nice summer glow. This will give you it. Not forgetting the chin. I can't do my lip, but you could do your cupid's bow too. That will make your lips really pretty. I'm so in love with that, but I can't do it. So too bad. A little bit on your brow bone. But you're not completely done yet though. Why? I have falsies. Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express. Waterproof. Curl my lashes. My mascara trick, you know how when you open up there's like a huge fudge of mascara down here? I usually rub it at the roots of my lashes, wipe it straight up with the wand to distribute it more evenly. To finish off, setting spray. Same old setting spray from Smashbox, the Photo Finish Prime Water. You can really tell I'm not good at spraying. I'll top it off with Vaseline my all-time favorite well technically I can't live without it otherwise I'll have really chapped lips so that concludes my video I hope you like what you've been watching so far if anything leave a comment leave a suggestion down below on what you want to see in the next videos I'm pretty sure you have some better ideas than I do although I do have a bunch of my hands click onto my channel uh, head on to the little blue blog check it out or just hit me up on social media and Stay up to date and we'll keep in touch. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.